I think we find ourselves in a world where things move really, really quickly. Uh, and I think the, the tried and tested methods of reaching out, engaging with communities, monitoring tensions within communities, I think you have to overlay that now with a world that is far more connected uh, digitally uh, and things can trigger and spark a reaction far, far quicker than perhaps historically. So I guess, where, where do I think we will be going? We'll always be committed to reaching out to communities. I mean, that I think the one day that the policing doesn't want to reach out and understand communities is the day that I'm not in it. Uh, because certainly for me, it all starts with us being legitimate and being connected with the communities that we serve. Uh, do I think we need to be able to do that more scientifically quicker and respond quicker? I think that will be a challenge for Policing UK. And I think because of the diverse nature of Leicester, I think we will probably be, uh, as we evolve that, we come really uh, almost like a pioneer as to what local policing needs to be. We'll be sharing that with our, with our colleagues elsewhere. The big problem is we have social media, which means that myths and lies go halfway around the world before the truth has got a chance to get its boots on. Um, what do you say to people from outside of Leicester, Leicestershire, who are bent on trying to cause problems which you would rather not happen here? Well, I, I would um, urge them to think about the people that live here. Because I talk about the silent majority. That silent majority, as a consequence of people doing things um, on social media to fuel anxiety, has uh, elongated the situation. And the people that live here, the businesses that, that thrive here, are all being impacted upon as a consequence of, of their actions. So the first thing is, I would say, uh, please stop doing it uh, because it's not helpful. Uh, and actually, when you look at it, there are people getting involved in the Leicester narrative for various different reasons. And I think that's another layer of complexity. You've got those that deliberately like to cause mischief and quite like the fact that there's some tension and some drama. There are those that want to get involved in uh, violence and conflict uh, and want to try and encourage people to get involved in that and see it. I think there are those that, that see the political capital potentially in that. Uh, and that's the small P locally the, and then the, the big P uh, uh, nationally. But I also think there's people internationally that have got involved in this and talking about Leicester as if they're an expert, yet the, the, I, I question whether they've ever actually been here. 